Hello everyone, my name is Kurazar, and welcome back to Sunless Sea, where we were here at the Utter Shroom in search of the ability to transform a strange catch into a live specimen. And in between episodes, I did some reading, and it turns out that we kind of have to wait a while. You can only do it when you have a certain something awaits you value, and also after enough, after enough time has passed in the Neath here. And time passes by going back to London and spending nights here and so on, and spending the... Actually, I think it means coming back with a something awaits you. You'll get the, like, time passes kind of notification. And apparently you need to have, like, 40 or so days in the game before you can do that here. So we are just going to launch... And we're going to go back to London. And I guess we'll get some port reports along the way. Maybe Station 3, although we've been to most of these, I think, on the way down here. But yes, we'll go back to London. We're just going to buy a strange catch. There are some other places we can get it, but they're a little bit out of the way. And I only have seven supplies, so I think London is safer. We'll have to make sure that we definitely dump our something away to so we don't lose our mirror catch box. But aside from that, I think we will be in good hands, hopefully. You know what? Maybe we can go underwater and see what's here on the way back. Let's transform. Make the Megazord. It's morphin' time. I'd say it louder, but don't want to blow up my speakers or my microphone. Hello. Chick chick. Something to the north. Oh, we found Nook. Like, literally right here. No, we... Found Nook. Right, this is this place. Okay. Well, we'll pop in here real quick. I don't think I'll stay long. There we go. And... Oh, there are shops here. Well, that actually changes the calculus. How's our cargo? Cargo's looking good. Interesting. So seven caskets of sapphires. That could be worth as much as like s almost almost 700 echoes. Hmm. That's not a bad trade, really. It does mean it's a bit of a longer trek, but if we didn't have the blind bruiser, this could be a good option. But let's pop in here. We'll enter Nook. I really just want a port report. That's great. We've already been here. Let's get our port report. Take from the weak. A high-risk challenge. Uh, I'm going to keep the Blemigans that we have for reasons. Let's just go to the submarine. Or you know what? We went upwards last time, and there was an etch-toothed house. Join some tooth miners. What's it do? We failed, but we got nodules. Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. Well, let's investigate the house. Ah, we don't have recent news. Right. Okay. Let's try it again. We succeeded. Ah... Gain two fuel and a memory of Nook. Interesting. Okay, time to leave. Air again, and that's all. Alright, so let's buy... That should do, I think. 22. Why not? Let's launch, and we're actually going to go find a place called Hideaway. If we can. A Hideaway is an underwater... Establishment. You're moving, so we're not going to investigate you. It's probably like a Lorne fluke or something. Or a Lorner fluke. But so Hideaway is an underwater location that will be found near Estival, which is going to be way over here on the right side of the map. So we have a bit of ways to go. But we do have plenty of creepy underwater space to check out along the way. No, go away. Not interested. Not, not interested in the least. No, thank you. Shoo. Shoo. 
220? Yeah, no thanks. I don't really need to run into that. I do wonder what these do aside from just hull damage. Let's see. We could probably go up and get some more XP while we're here. Also get some oxygen. Probably good. Yeah, hey, there we go. We found the Fink Noddle Vortex. Great. Love it. Let's see, what is above you? There's something... Oh, it's just a light. Okay. Let's get out here into the black. We'll use our Z-Bat. What have you got for my Z-Bat? Isle of Cats. Ooh, that's good to know. Oops, not battle. Ah. We're headed right toward it. That does mean we should also find Visage here, and I think yeah, there's one more, I think, or at least one more, like, island, basically. Hello. But if I send you out again, you should come back and say Visage is nearby. Guess not. Not even once we're up here? Maybe. Should be right up here, I think. Something underwater. Cool. Let's stop here and we're going to dock. Any shops? Ludicrous fuel and supplies. Yes. Let's get our port report. We're keeping our Lemigans. We have no sunlight. Let's give a piratical welcome. Oh, darn it, really? I did not want that. I did not want that. Ugh. Okay, we're out of here. Oh, make sure you've learned everything you want to know. Let's go ahead and do that. We've already seen... Oops. All of these. And there we go. But we are going to skip doing anything else here. So, suspicion is bad because it makes the tax man, the revenue men, much more likely to search your ship. Now, we can get away with having one suspicion, I believe. As long as we maybe stop off at Gator's Morn and pick up one of those secure storage compartments. Or the concealed one. Pa Kapalka Cove. Kind of annoying that just going into the Isle of Cats gives you suspicion. That's a little... A little mean, honestly. Let's get a port report. Um, we are not going to do visit again right now because we are on our way to Hideaway. But I will take the port report for the free fuel and moolah. And you all know me. I'm all about the moolah. And I believe under here is a settlement. So let's go ahead and we'll pop down under here as well. Should be able to sink right here. There we go. Down we go. And look at that. Right where I said it was. This is, is this called Rosegate? Or is this place something else? It is called Rosegate. Okay. Okay. Ooh, wow. Utter Shroom Sporeal. Station 3 Heart Metal Ingot. Okay. And a Hunter's Eye. Interesting. What do we got? Go away. We're closed. Let's see. It's as much a port as a shop with a dock. Colored ceiling lights shine onto the display cases lining the walls. A large shop counter dominates the room. Cigars, ashtrays, guillotines, matches, and carved boxes are all for sale. Each step here transports you into a new realm. At one moment, the heady aroma of summer flowers. Then, the earthy fug of fungus. The bitter warmth of morning coffee. The sickening sweetness of sweat and midnight honey. Let's see. I cannot assist you to my friends' returns. Okay. Sample a high-quality cigar. Take a pamphlet. Ah, port report. The pamphlet describes Rosegate as a cigar shop with a factory on the upper floor. True. 
Here they produce and sell an unparalleled variety of cigars, also true. The tobacconist is described as a world-renowned figure, respected for his dedication to his craft and the brilliance of his creative vision. Hmm. The pamphlet boasts that his genius will forever alter the tobacconist's, tobacconist's art. Well, that remains to be proven. <laughs> and sure, let's sample a cigar. Ah, we lose three terror for 12 Echo. 12 Echoes of Terror? That's not too bad, actually. Okay, let's, um... Go away, we're closed. The crotchety tobacconist sits smoking behind the shop counter. The ashtray next to him is stacked with cigar butts. I cannot assist you until my apprentice returns. Well, where does the apprentice go? I set up on an errand. He just had to collect a parcel from... Burr. Burr. <laughs> where was it? Are the Empire of Hands or the Tomb Colonies? He sits up and stretches. His joints crack loudly. I have very important work, and I can't continue without him. Please. My list of news of the boy, leave me be. Okay. So, I guess we'll have to come back later with news of the boy. But let's get out of here, and let's scootle our way over to Estival, and then hopefully Hideaway. Hey, there's a stream here. Wonder if it'll just slow us down again. And... Yeah, we're just slowed. I think you have to enter them, like, at their beginnings to get a boost, which I think is kind of weird. Like, we just suddenly go faster there. Like, why would we not just be pulled along in the current? I don't quite get that. Oh, I spy. Ooh, I think I know about where we are. I'm pretty sure this is the spidery gross place that I am terrified of. Yep, I can hear the music. Okay, so do we go north or south? Let's try north, I think. I can hear the faint music playing. I sailed through here once and saw a giant, weird, like, eye creature. And I just noped out. <laughs> I just said, no thank you. You're not going that way. Sorry, pal. By the way, in case you're curious, you can actually sail off the east edge of the map. In fact, I'm pretty sure you can sail off any edge of the map that actually has a water connection. However, be aware that it will end your game. And I don't think it counts as a victory. It's just sort of a neutral situation. Please be up here, Estival. Okay, I think we're far enough out of the way that I can surface and not have to worry too much about spiders or weird eyeball things. Off we go. What have we here? This is... Oh, I think this is Hideaway, actually. Oh, it's a chill in it. Okay. So we did not find this last time. We'll stop off here briefly. I don't want to spend too much time here. We'll probably just get a port report and then be on our way. Shabelport. It's like a very German name for... I'm not sure what kind of name the challenge is, but yeah. The Gant Pole. That name rings a bell, but it's been a long time, so... No idea. So here we could sell our Casco Sapphires if we were to trade the... Sunlight Field boxes for it. And then if we were to... Well, trade them in Nook for the Casco Sapphires, sell them here, we could get a lot of money for each box. It's a very creepy sounding. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Hello. A shell as big as a wild dream? The waves lap the shabby sides of a vast turtle shell, bigger than any cathedral. Chell knights loaf on wooden docks around the shell sides, staring sullenly. Lamps hang like decorations in a festive butcher's window. All around you, the sea is rank with scraps of ancient flesh. Oh, our surgeon wanted to go here. Okay. Let's see. Oh my word, look at these scars. Look at these stains. 
Release me from my contract, Captain. I beg you. I've saved up enough to compensate you. Oh, this is our original surgeon guy. Yeah, go for it, dude. Oh, nice. Strategic information and 200 echo. That's really nice. The surgeon is as good as his word. He ends traveling, he counts out the coins, and whispers a little secret he picked up back in London. He's vague about why he didn't mention it before. He collects his knives and instruments, heads into the shell, and is gone. So, pretty cool. So... Okay. Can't pull a trade in flesh. An opportunity from, an, from a redolent flesh merchant. Even the talent's hardy folk keep their distance. For the flesh, he slithers, drool pouring from between his rotten teeth. The gat pull. Where the Bethies die? Bethies die? Bring flesh. We sell it to the turtle earth. Pressure, meath. Big monies to make. The gant pole is said to be deep underwater, mostly by sailors who do not believe it really exists. He wants meath from the gant pole, okay? Let's see, we can agree to a proud request. Seeing your ship, a hunter strides up to you. For the pride of her family and, her, and yours, she demands passage to the undersea spire of Scrimshander, okay? A deal is struck. Oh, I think we've already we already have one person who wants to go here. It's the same uh the same like text here. Interesting. Shore leave. Probably a bad idea. And no Megans, we will take a ooh, port report. Sure. No matter what details you try to record, the stench creeps in around the edges of the sentences. The Chalonites, watchful despite the reek. Movement among the miasmic scraps of long abandoned monster carcass. Frequent duels where the stink is thickest. And what is this? Tales for the bone. Someone is crying unusual wares. Follow the sound. Ah, okay. Okay, so we can turn a Z story and a hunting trophy into an outlandish artifact. Okay, that's pretty cool. Good to know, but I don't really care. Let's launch. I don't... I don't know that we're going to find Hideaway and Estival farther north, but I guess we can find out. Let's send our trusty Z-Bat out. Yeah, I know, the Gant pulls here. Oh, you know what? Oops. I can't dive here. Okay, well, we'll come back later then. What are you? A giant split skull. Two slurs channel. And what have we here? This could be like the Empire of Hands, I don't know. We're probably near it. Yep, that's so. Okay, so we probably need to go south. South of whatever this place was again. Oh, the Stupid spider islands. Let's stop off here. I think there was someone who wanted to get off here. Let's find out. Um, do you want to tell me where it is here? No islands within range. I find that a little unbelievable, Z-Bat. <laughs> As the island just fades into view. Moments later. And there's our port. Let's get on up in here. And we could... Uh, we could stop by Irem. We are on the right side of the map for doing all this stuff. Like, if we can get the live specimen down in Hideaway, we can zip out here to Irem and continue the quest. Because as I recall, we had to go to Irem for her at one point. As well as for the... Uh, the Genial Magician? We don't have him in this playthrough yet. Alright. We've already read some of this before. Got monkey business. I don't think... See the Zeppelin, Blumigan? No. And perhaps not. Okay, so I guess we don't have anybody who wants to hang out here. 
It's to a weak call for help. An emaciated man is slumped against the wall of the dock, sitting on a large on a huge crate. He waves weakly at you. Oh, thank God, the dogged apprentice gasps. Oh, it's the apprentice. Okay. I don't know how long I've been here. It's been days, weeks since I ran out of money. I've got to get back to Rosegate, beneath the waves. His crate rumbles beneath him. Please, help me. And if you had anything I could eat. Um, sure. Yeah. The dog and apprentice springs up to embrace you, but collapses onto the deck. After seeing him to a bunk, you check and double check that your crew has securely stored, stored away his rumbling crate. Something tells me we shouldn't just hang out with that crate for too long. We'll just do shore leave. Oh good, we gained 10 terror. Don't like that. But let's roll out of here. We're going to go south. And I guess I'll meet all of you as we're getting near the spider isles. Whatever they're called. And we'll see if that super spooky, creepy thing is there. Just so we can get a glimpse of it. I'll probably have to full power out of there. But I'll see all of you in just a few minutes. Okay, folks, here we are. Oh, there's a thing under the water. Oh, I hate it already. Oh, my goodness. So there is something here. I am not inclined to find out what it is. But there's something here. Let's see if we can stay out of its sight here. We're just going to sneak along the shore. Ooh. I'm not here. I'm not here. I am so not here. No thanks. Ooh. Okay. There's a dock here? I have never seen this. The nativity. And going here is naivety. <laughs> okay, I have actually never been here before. Now it's very far on the right side of the map. Interesting. Well, I have learned something very new today. Any shops here? Fuel and supplies. You know, I'll buy a couple of each because we are getting a little bit low. We have the scuttering reaches, integrate webs, stretch into a darkness where the shadows are never entirely still. So if we have spider silk and fox fire candles, we can. Oh, we don't have spider silk. Okay, I see. 19 and 26. Yikes. So we can scavenge, looks like, spider silk from the shores. Skip that. We can assist with preparations. Oh, we have a haunted doctor who wants to come with us. Please, I must leave this terrible place. The star spiders will not take me back. Please. Welcome aboard. We have a haunted doctor. The haunted doctor hurries aboard the ship. He pauses, looking at the cursed wasteland of the Saber's rocks. The lady said I would never be able to get back once it was thrown away. I see she was... Never mind. Is this my cabin? Yes, it is more than I deserve. Okay. We can trade supplies for silk? No, thank you. We can compile a port report with mushroom wine. No, that's okay. A delivery of trinkets. An almost entirely legitimate silk trader urgently requests your help with a delivery to fallen London. Just trinkets. Uh, I don't trust that. <laughs> and we're not going to London for a while anyway, assuming we find what we need here, so I'm going to skip that because our hold space is quite limited. But we should be getting pretty darn close to Estival and hopefully Hideaway. Let's try to stay near to lights and or land. And Hideaway should be about north northeast of Estival. Let's see if the Zbat spots anything underwater. No? Okay. Have it your way. Oh dear. No? I'm good. Yep, nope. No. 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 I'll oh, skip that, please. Gonna try to get around you. 
We are hearing Estival music. That's a good sign. You just stay there, buddy. Underwater southeast. Okay, let's dive. No, can't. Seek deeper waters. All right. There we go. Yeah, it's a bit unclear where you can and can't dive. It, there should really be some more visual delineation. Oh. <laughs> well, that's why you couldn't dive, apparently. Hello, hideaway. I come for your live specimen, supposedly free. Any shops? No, okay. On the back of a gigantic beast live exiles from every, every corner of the Neath. Okay. Here gather the traitors, heretics, artists, fools, and the two honest. Despite possessing a range of radically different ideologies, these outcasts live together peacefully. Let's get a port report. Most hideaway dwellers toil to strengthen their city against the Z's crushing weight. Those that don't instead prepare for that night's festival. And all without a word spoken aloud. If they need to communicate, the people of Hideaway rely on a strict system of acutely formal gestures. Okay. Let's see. Uh, she touches her lips and touches her head back. Her fingers travel down her throat to her belly, which she pats. That'll be the trade. Goods for food. No, I'm good. Impolite investigator. Oh, sure. We can uh, send you off here. The Implant Investigator grins as he disembarks. As soon as he's ex exited your ship, he spots a small, ancient man, the sprightly visionary. The Investigator rushes over to him and shakes his hand while unleashing a barrage of questions. What's your name, Reason Rexa? How's the food? The visionary writes the message in the in a, uh, the visionary writes a message in the notebook chained to his wrist. He presents it to you both. Welcome. Sorry, I must run. You need to register yourself. Go straight ahead. Advice, no questions. Friend Temtem. Good day. Let's see. I believe this is what we have to do. Boop. Join the festival. Yeah, there we go. Although you do not reside in Hideaway, the people of the city will allow you to participate in their festivals if you aid in the preparation for them. They'll even be grateful to have extra help. One of the dwellers bows deeply before you and performs the gesture of friendship by showing you her wrists and crossing her arms to touch her shoulders. She then fumbles in her pockets before she presses a small shell into your hand. It's curled like a wave. A little claw darts out and nips at your finger. The woman coos the tiny creature. Got bad news for you, little buddy. Let's see. Though everyone in Hideaway has a night to celebrate a festival of their own making, most dedicate their efforts to one of three great events. Uh, perhaps not. Let's see. Let's aid the sprightly visionary. A small man with liver spots on his head and wispy white hairs on his chin is struggling to roll a wheel of heavy cabling. Together, you roll the wheel through the through Hideaway. You pass women lugging below torches and bags of cement, and men trying to smile as they put on diving suits. Eventually you pass through an iron gate to a workroom. At the room center is a deep pit. A large electrical alternator looms against the back wall. The visionary plugs the cable into the alternator, and slowly feeds the rest down into the pit. When finished, he writes a short message in the notebook chained to his wrist. Thank you. Usual helps working on faulty line. May need you in future. As he hands you the note, he looks up, revealing his neck. It's one huge scar. Okay. Can aid him again, I suppose. We can supply his engines with fuel. Ooh, we don't have enough fuel for that. Sorry, buddy. And I guess we could join... I guess we could join or check on the investigator. The implant investigator ignores the patterns of resting and waking established in Hideaway. He never seems to sleep. At all hours, he can be found asking questions or studying the city. A tough challenge. 
Today, however, he's withdrawn to his room and is unduly quiet. What is he up to? The waters between seven diving suits take up the investigator's room. We're exploring the space between Temtem and its city shell. But we'll need another five divers. Ha. No. <laughs> Definitely not. We'll come back for you later, though. For sure. Okay, so, whoops, wrong button. So, while we're here, let's go talk to the surgeon, or the clatter air, and we'll ask her, Mr. Iron, truly, you think that's your dad? She certainly does. And so we can, let's see, explore her surgery. Uh, yeah, let's go get this. And we can proposition her? No, not really. Let's tell her about her dad. She should know the truth. Okay, and she doubts us. So let's go talk to her again. We're not going to push her. We need a clattery souvenir. Okay. To find something for it to operate on. Okay, well, I think we can go to Irem for that. Let's try it. It's a possibility. I wouldn't mind getting some more supplies, but we're also going to drop off our little guy at Rosegate. I'm pretty sure. Nope, nope, his thing is not actually in our hold here. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's, uh, yeah, let's actually surface. We'll see if we can get anything good at Estival. There's a chance I might just, you know, get wounded, but whatever. I spy bright waters. And Estival, here we are. Hello. I find it weird that we turn our running lights on even in daylight. <laughs> no shops, of course. Sun. Let's see, we can... Investigate the ruins, fill a mirror catch box, gather supplies, let's get a port report. Um, let's... Hmm. Investigate the ruins, a red bird singing. And again, we've read this before, so I'm not going to read it again. In order to found a colony, we have to bring something to Estival that can protect against sunlight. Okay. Um, do I want to fill the mirror catch box? Sure, why not? And I actually have a reason for doing that. Aside from just getting some free money and stuff. And that is that we can actually use the prisoner. So if, if one of our crew goes and opens the sunlight filled box then we can throw them in, in the brig, and later we can use them as a potential clattery souvenir. Well, source of one. I think it's a 50-50 chance, or it's 50-50 chance of keeping the, the prisoner afterward. I'm not really sure. But let's get up here to Rosegate. Let's give this guy over to his buddy, and uh, let's see where we can go from there. All right, folks, here we are approaching Rosegate. The game put us like face to face with this reef here. <laughs> it's like, let's go right into it. Smash. I do love a little animation of the sort of like airlock opening. And in we go. Let's go and drop off our little buddy. Let's witness a reunion. The crotchety tobacconist bends over the shop counter, annotating a large sheet of paper. He glances up at the dogged apprentice and bites down on his cigar. His face is blackened with soot. Last batch blew up on me. Welcome back. A man's hope. The crotchety tobacconist reaches across the counter to shake your hand. Our patron has forsaken us. He's only interested in this project of the South. He left my apprentice to starve, and he hasn't arranged a delivery of the materials I require. I ran out of rubies to try to convince him otherwise. 
which makes your intervention all the more pro propitious. Propitious? Propitious. He puffs a great ring of smoke into the air above your head. It takes several moments for the halo to disperse. Captain, we're on the verge of a tremendous breakthrough. I'm about to create something beautiful, something noble. A cigar which will burn underwater. I think I've finally found the right mixture. He taps the sheet on this counter. It is covered in incomprehensible scrawling, equations beyond the mathematical. Three flavors, something robust, something bitter, and something luscious. Once I have them, I can finally complete it. So we need to bring... <laughs> Interesting. The taste of kettle steam. So this should tell us about where to get these things. A stale pastry. It's probably like Bender Bite. This is, of course, polythreme. And this is probably... I don't know. I mean, it's probably just coffee, but still. Okay. Interesting. How do we have the robust flavor already? Weird. <laughs> okay. Well, let's see. Laboring for the robust flavor. The crotchety tobacconist glowers at the rumbling crate. We'll need to shift the bloody thing up the stairs. Help us get up there, won't you? In short, we can do that. Perfect. One labored step at a time, the three of you carry the crate up the stairs. The apprentice takes heavy breaths. The tobacconist swears so often you're uncertain if he breathes at all. Eventually, you make it to the workshop and the chain the cargo into the container. You unfinished... Oh, probably bastard. <laughs> BD, the tobacconist huffs, stretching his back. We got you now. The taste of watery beer. Okay. So we would then need... Ooh, two ambiguous eliths, okay. I think those we can actually get in Irem too if we go there. And romantic literature and an unread log. Well, this is pretty easy to get. Well, once we get into the Khanate. This one, I think Irem can get these for us. I'll have to look into that one. And the unread log, I'm really not sure. I do want to buy some fuel here that's kind of pricey. Okay, that's fine. All right, well, let's see. I think we're going to call the episode here. I think I'm going to actually, for realsies, make my way back to London because we have a bunch of port reports. Uh, let me check my hold here. I might be able to sell this to the, bl the, blind, blu uh, the blind bruiser. Let's see. And... I want to say along the way, you know what, if I could recall where we just bought, it was Nook that had the cheap eel, wasn't it? I think it was. Well, let's actually, we'll go up to Irem, we'll see if we can push along the Clattery Errors quest there, and then from there we'll sort of make like a diagonal path back to London to see if we can run into the Khanate and other points of interest along the way. So that's the plan. I'm going to pause it so we don't burn through fuel and supplies. But I hope you enjoyed the episode. Let me know what you in the comments. And as always, my name has been Corazar. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.